Okay, so I'm gonna share with you why I no longer post my kids on Facebook. I was one of those moms that judged other parents who would not put their kids on social media. I thought they were totally overprotective and now that is me. As of a year ago, I have a really good reason for that. So um, yeah, I would post my kids on Facebook. I have three little girls. I just think they're the cutest little things and everyone should see them. Um, until a year ago when we started to notice my husband and I that um, there was some other person that we didn't know was not on our friends list that was copy and pasting pictures of me and the girls and putting them on his Facebook profile. Kind of creepy, right? Noticed it a few different times, ended up looking into it and realizing I thought all my photos were private and no, they're not all private. Sometimes you set your settings for private and some of the photos are not private. So you have to be extremely careful. So they were posting these pictures. He po posted one of these pictures where I was asking for a babysitter for three little girls. And this was a creepy guy Facebook profile. So after that, my husband and I just decided it is not worth it. In this day and age, it is so easy to track down people's addresses and find where they live and um it's just not worth it so my husband was so upset he actually no longer has a facebook profile he just deleted the whole works for me i went back seven years and deleted all the photos of my kids that are in my facebook and i no longer post that so if you're a close friend of mine and you want to see pictures of my my kiddos just call me text me and i'll send you pictures otherwise we no longer do it it's not worth it to me um it is unfortunately a very um, global world and we have to be careful. So that is why I no longer post pictures of my kids. I am that parent who is extra careful and hey, why not? Why not? And I will say also, I took Facebook off of my phone. So I no longer use the app on my phone to get into Facebook. I did this because I was wasting so much time on it when I had my back surgery last year. I just decided, oh my gosh, I have got to do something so I don't spend so much time on this thing. Now, if I wanna get on Facebook or post on Facebook, I have to go on my laptop in the office and that is not very exciting. It's not very mindless. You have to purposely go on to do it. And that has been amazing. Talk about freeing up so much time, so much mental space. It's amazing that sometimes when I've been on Facebook, um, I don't, like some, I'll see a post, whether it's a political post or whether it's a, um, a friend or something will catch in my heart and it'll bother me for the next, you know, hour to five hours. And I can track it back to something that I saw or read or noticed or an emotion or something sad or somebody dying or something on Facebook. And no, we shouldn't shelter ourselves from all hard things, but I think all of us would agree there's enough hard things already and enough stressful things in our lives of the people that are really close to us that we don't need to add to that. We don't need to add the stress to that. So deleting Facebook off my phone, taking the kids pictures off my phone has actually been extremely freeing. So I just wanted to explain why I did that and um, why I think it's been super beneficial for me and my family. Have a great rest of your day. If you decide to post your kids on Facebook, there's absolutely no judgment no pressure you do you just do me a favor and make sure that your privacy settings are strong and strict have a great day you're doing a great job talk to you soon